What is going on YouTube? It's Huncho here, back with another video. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you're not going to miss any content in the future. Today's video, I'm going to be discussing Windows 7 versus Windows 10 1709, specifically for Fortnite. In a video in the near future, I'm going to show you guys how to create a separate boot for Windows 7. And that way you can keep your Windows 10 for any other game you want to play. Or you could even do a separate boot for Windows 10 and have one of them with an ISO that's completely stripped and another one with a fully updated Windows that's going to give you the most compatibility with programs and editing software and things along those lines. So just to start off on this video, I'm going to talk about the frames per second differences and not so much the results from my PC, but how using Windows 7 on your PC might help you more than my results here. So these top four results here are Windows 10. As you can see when I'm in creative looking at the sky, I'm at 803 FPS. And when I was in salty, I was at 431. I also tested performance mode for a baseline. My opinion on performance mode right now is there's too many bugs to use it consistently, especially the guns not being able to see far off spawn. But if you are a team that lands far away anyway, the guns isn't as big of an issue. But there is a visual aspect of the game where if you can see things better, you're going to hit more shots and be able to call out enemies and call out rotations. And that's going to help you more than the little bit of frames per second you're going to get. But if you're really struggling with DX11 to hold those consistent frames, whether it be 144 or 240 or whatever it is with your computer, then you should try performance mode because you're going to have a better performance sitting at 240 frames in game just like when you're in creative and if you have your consistent frames everything feels smooth but then you go into game and it feels choppy that's because your fps is dropping every second or so so your game is never going to feel fluid unless you're having that consistent performance but for me when i'm on dx11 as you can see even in salty i'm capable of over 400 fps so me going from 430 to 520 isn't that big of a difference in that aspect because i'm still capping at 240. Now for an end game situation, the performance mode might help me more, but I prefer the visual quality to be able to see things, not only in calling out rotations, but calling out enemies and just seeing through my builds cleaner and more efficiently. So now that I've covered that, I'm going to get into Windows 7. So the one that I use and the one that I'm going to show in a future video is the Fox OS. He has a very stripped Windows 7. And before I get into the details of comparing Windows 7 to Windows 10 and what I like and what I don't like, I'm just going to go over the FPS difference here. So I had a slightly higher max FPS for in creative on both modes, the performance and DX11. But you got to remember in Windows 7, you cannot play on DX12 because it's not supported. So that's why we're going to have a dual boot situation and that's why I'm going to show you guys how to set that up as well. In game, I was getting slightly less FPS comparing it straight up to Windows 10 1709. But that small difference doesn't outweigh what I'm about to talk about when I go into the information about Windows 7. So first off, I'm gonna talk about the positives of Windows 10. So you're gonna have the highest compatibility. You don't really have to dual boot because you can do everything on Windows 10. You're still gonna have DX12 support for your games. You're gonna have Windows Firewall. You're gonna have Defender if you want it. You're gonna be able to use your editing software on your PC. You're going to have a higher compatibility rate with different programs like using the NDI in OBS, which is going to be like streaming your gameplay from one computer to the other over network. Certain things along those lines that won't be capable with Windows 7, because remember Windows 7 is going to be the most simplistic version of strictly gaming. Now the negatives of Windows 1709. Just like any Windows 10, there's an extreme amount of bloatware and unneeded programs and unneeded software every time Windows gets updated because they have to keep compatibility with previous Windows 10. So not only are you going to have less performance of your PC, such as a higher memory usage, but it's also going to take that much longer to fully optimize it. As you saw from my post install guide, it's not very short. And in the Windows 7 video, I'm going to be using the Fox OS post install guide as well as adding a few things of my own. And you'll see how much simpler that is of why I prefer to use Windows 7. The biggest downside to Windows 10 in general to me is the desktop Windows Manager. As I made a previous video on a full screen exclusive, 
you'll see many comments, whether it's on my video, in people's discords, on Twitter, of them thinking their game isn't running in full screen exclusive because of this reason, because of that reason, Fortnite's bugged, it's not working. Well, on Windows 7, you can turn the feature completely off. On Windows 10, you can technically turn it off, but you're gonna have many issues that run with it. So now talking about Windows 7, some of the things that I like about it, it's really easy to set up. The first time you do it, it can be a little complicated, and there's a few things with setting it up in BIOS and a boot through USB that are a little different and not as straightforward as just plugging the ISO into Rufus. But for the most part, it's way easier than Windows 10. Using the Fox OS is also nice because he has a lot of things stripped. So you are going to have virtually the highest gaming performance out of your Windows 7 OS as possible. One of the things that isn't talked about as much is input delay. People usually focus on FPS when talking about different windows and things along those lines. When I'm using Windows 10, I use Windows 1709 because I'm going to have the lowest input delay with that and the best mouse feel. But that's also because I have Intel. If you have AMD, you're going to want to use anything above Windows 1903 for Windows 10 because of the new task scheduler, it works better with AMD. However, comparing both of those to Windows 7, it isn't even close in terms of input delay because everything's stripped because you're only gonna have a few amount of drivers, a few amount of programs running on your PC, the input delay is significantly less. Not only is the input delay less though, your game runs so much smoother and the visual picture is significantly better, at least for me on Windows 7 compared to any version of Windows 10 that I've tried. Some of the downsides of using the Windows 7 is if you use any sort of ping tweak with Windows Firewall, that's completely stripped, so it's not supported anymore, and it's stripped from the Fox OS, so you can't use that. So if you're gonna search the internet or something, you're not gonna have any firewall, so you'll have to use like an outside firewall to be safe. Some of the reasons I recommend Windows 7 for Fortnite is because it's really easy to set up, so if you screw something up in the OS, it's not gonna take you very long to get up and running again, and you're not gonna have to worry about a bunch of bloatware on your computer. If you're using a program like OBS and having your clips directly on that same hard drive or SSD, you can get away with having like 80 gigabytes or 100 gigabytes as a partition. And if you're not using it for clips at all, you can even get away with like 60 gigabytes because Fortnite is so small now if you're not using the high resolution textures. Not only is it simple to set up, but the other thing I like about it, not necessarily of using Windows 7, but having a separate partition for gaming is that when you're searching the internet doing different projects on your computer you don't have to worry about a bunch of bloatware or downloading different programs that are going to slow down and reduce your fps and your performance in fortnite because you're not affecting that partition whatsoever if your computer isn't very fast you might have a longer delay of a black screen before your discord pulls up or whatever you wanted to get to in Windows 7, that's going to be immediately because there is no desktop Windows Manager, so you're going to be able to Alt-Tab out much faster. One more downside I do want to mention about Windows 7 is that if you play on controller, you might notice higher input delay because of the older drivers for the controller compatibility. However, if you're on a highly bloated, non-optimized Windows 10 right now, it's definitely going to be lower input delay on Windows 7 than Windows 10. All in all, whether you should use Windows 10 or Windows 7 is up to you, but I'm gonna be making a video on it, so you should be able to try it out and see if you like it better. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any more videos in the future. Thanks for watching, peace out.